Well, you folks who are wondering when are you going to record another third and fourth grade boys game? Well, today's the day, February 20th, 2016, Saturday morning, Calvin Castine in beautiful downtown Cumberland Head. It's uh, the uh, co coaches here, uh, a big. I think that's Bronson on the left. Uh, Caleb Castine over here. Here we got Alex Patry and Caleb's brother Nate Castine. This is a <clears throat> this is a battle for bragging rights tomorrow when they all get together for a big birthday party. They'll be bragging and arguing about this game all day tomorrow. This will be bigger than the Super Bowl. For the Cumberland Head team, Stevie Bronson, two, Ryan Bell, four, Cameron Danville, five, Xavier Sorrell, eight, Alec Dupree, ten, Julian Mara, <coughs> thirteen, <coughs> only five here for Champlain, Ross's Point. Let's see number five, that's Casey Kane. Number three, <coughs> Alex Sarabout. Number seven, Colton Castine. Number two, Ethan Gooley. And who's the other guy? Eight, Owen Timmons. So, uh, at game time, uh, I didn't have to look too hard at that fellow. I don't know that was Bronson. Oh, shot is up. Oh, what a strong rebound there by Setabout. At game time, Champlain Rouse's Point team in Maroon has just uh, five players and Cumberland Head has just six. So it's, uh, <coughs> the uh, last weekend of the big uh, winter break in February, so uh, a lot of folks are still on break, I would imagine. Oh, Bronson with a tough, tough shot. What are we doing here? Inbound the ball, guys. Somebody has to inbound it. <laughs> I guess they've never been scored on before. <laughs> they've never been scored on. They didn't know what to do after the other team scored. Oh, I think that was Timmons, huh? Yeah, Timmons. <laughs> Nate Castine talking to Alex Sarabout and Alec Dupree turns and looks and what? What do you want? <laughs> oh, this guy's inspired tonight here. What a steal. So when we leave here, we'll go put our weekly, our daily puff frame on. Ten seconds in the backcourt. <laughs> Ten seconds in the backcourt, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll put our weekly show on, get ready for a one o'clock uh, <coughs> hockey game at Northeastern, and then go to Mass at 5.30, and then right after Mass, head for Northern Adirondack for playoff basketball. Uh, Cougars, I think, are playing PHS tonight. semi-finals. Temperature 35 degrees when we shut our vehicle off. Xavier Sorrell. Hey, you got to inbound. You got to go out of. You got to go out of bounds with it. <laughs> this isn't the first game of the season, guys. <laughs> this isn't the first game of the season here. <laughs> Dupree almost had to steal. Timmons, the scoring machine, too hard that time. And Sarabut puts it in. 
Ah, see, this is how you inbound it here. Dribble it a couple times and throw it in. 4-4. Four, four. They'll take the score off after each quarter. So try to have somebody in the house write down the score. So you'll remember what the overall is. Packed house here. A packed house. All kinds of people packed in here. Loop shot rebounded by Sorrell. On the line. Well, we got here two Gulli inbounding to Sarabout. Tells Bronson, Dupree comes up with it. Oh, blocked by Sarabout. We're almost halfway through the first quarter. Short. Defense in the backcourt. <coughs> they have the eight minute shot clock. Stolen by Castine. Rebounded by Sorrell. Cumberland Head clears the bench, and Julian Mara comes in. Clears the bench, they got all, all one player in. Ooh, a little early there, fella. Last time with the rebound, now Timmons with the rebound. Herbo is fouled, stop the clock, we got a foul. 4-4 four, four here. 2.54 showing. Sarah Boot will shoot two. As soon as we get everybody lined up. <laughs> and this guy here has got to get out of there too. There you go. There you go. Ooh, shooting at the, the short one here. Red ball. 
Rolling into Sarabout. 2.23 left in the first period. Basketball Sarabout puts his team up 6-4 at the two minute mark now. Double dribble. It's <laughs> been at least a decade since I was in this school, I think. They had some kind of a, a double dribble, travel, like, you name it, he did it. <coughs> had some kind of an exhibit here with a bunch of this area school systems. And, Wildlife people and quite a while ago. It's been a while since I've been at this particular gym. Rebounded by Dupre. <laughs> Carried it. <laughs> Heck of a move. If the ref had his back to him, if he had his back to the ref, he would have got away with it. But. Yeah. Heck of a move. 106 to go. First quarter. Over and back. All the defense in the backcourt, which is it? Gets the rebound. Sorrell now Bronson with a shot. Nope. And Simmons gets the rebound. No defense in the backcourt. 33 seconds to go in the period. Oh, that'll be a carry. White ball, 13 seconds. <coughs> For him, and then one second. Oh, time's up. <coughs> time's up. 6-4, that one. We got another one coming up, just like it. Playing Ralph's Point ball. <clears throat> Here at Cumberland Head. Third and fourth grade boys basketball. Bronson will bring it up. Over and back. Uh, 
cast nine and Dupree. Fighting for it. Oh, uh, off the head. That was bounced off the head of uh, Ryan Bell. <laughs> Pass to go up and get the foul. Dupre tries a uh, uh, Chabelle tries a shot. Excuse me. Star Tournament. I saw it called and it made sense to me. No defense in the backcourt would mean that not only can the defender, but see right here, Serbu is uh, locking that line. Uh, until the ball gets in the forecourt, you can't defend the man. So if you're standing at the line and not allowing the uh, man into the into the forecourt, you're defending him in the backcourt. So it's a small technicality at a young age ball game. So it was just uh, something I saw called at the, the uh, Cougar Rising Star Tournament, and it made sense to me that you had to allow the, the man with the ball to come into the forecourt and then guard him. So even though the defender wasn't in the backcourt, if he was at that line, he was guarding the man in the backcourt. That's the type of thing that could end up going all the way to the Supreme Court to decide the correct call. Rebound Dupre. Bronson will bring it up. Stolen by Timmons. They're not going to stop him. All right. He posted up one strong. Looked like Brooke Bajelko. Last night, uh, whoop, whoop, Bronson doing a little, little shuffle here. Mara, double dribble called. 4.38 to go. Timeout on the floor. We're in the second quarter. Blocked out in that corner. They've got the dividers here, so there's limited area where I can get without intruding on the court. I thought about getting over on that side before those folks got there, but then I wouldn't be able to see the clock. So, my best bet to have a shot at seeing things. I'm going to back up, I guess, another step or two. I'm blocking a water fountain, so that's why I. Avoided getting in this particular spot because I'm stand now standing right in front of the water fountain. Serboot misses the first. Well, no drinking till I uh, get to the next end of the period. 
Let's go to the ball. That's Cameron Danville. Jump ball. Uh, just under four to go in the second period. And they took the, time, the score off the clock. Basket by Sarah Boot. So it's 7-0 uh, is just this second quarter. Stolen by Colton Kastein. And taken back. Danville. Cyprian Timmons battling for the rebound. 3.17 on the clock. St. Patrick's Day on the calendar. Except today is the February, February 20th, not 3.17. 51st day of the year. One, uh, 51st, three. Oh yeah, 315 left. 315 days left. Whoop. Whoop. And Sarabout scores. So it's a big second quarter here for the Champlain Rouses Point team. Throws it in. Wow, what a shot. What a shot. What a shot by Julian Mara. Yes. Again, Champlain forgot how to inbound the ball. Too strong. Castine throws it and off the off the can't say window. <laughs> off the wood. <clears throat> off the fiberglass. <laughs> Whatever it's made out of. Uh, makes it eleven two. Loose ball picked up there by number five, Casey Kane. One forty two to go in the first half. Seconds, gotta get rid of it. Three seconds. <clears throat> Looks like Champlain Rouse's point is gonna keep it. Inbounded by Gooley. Stolen by Dupree. 118 throwing. Fifteen showing. Ten seconds to get in the forecourt. Mara grabs it. <laughs> See? Toes are right on the line. Dupre. And throws it in. I like Dupre with the shot. Inbound the ball, guys. <clears throat> this is Casey Kane inbounding it. 30 seconds to go in the second quarter. Oh, 
Timmons lets it sail. Cast time with a rebound. No. Morrow tries to save it. Dupree grabs it. 11 seconds. You want to try to go coast to coast. Takes the extra step. And at the buzzer, at the buzzer beater. There you go, a buzzer beater by Cameron Danville. I'm going to get 11 4, 11 6. 11 6 in the second period. It's half time. We are set for the second half. Champlain or Rouse's Point at Cumberland Head, February 20th, 2016. Bowling knock loose there by Bell. Double dribble foul. Knock loose by Dupre. Mara <coughs> drives, throws it up. Rebound, Cerebro. Carrying it. <coughs> so we'll go back to Cumberland Head. Zero's on the scoreboard. Take the score off the scoreboard after uh, each period. This isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about the kids learning the game. Get their shot. Rebounded by Gooley. Kids getting some exercise. Some structure. Fast line shot rebounded by Dupree. Robson will bring it up. Viewer supported local television, hometown cable, if you're watching this. We need your support. We're going to keep doing this. <coughs> Like hometown cable to still be around. And these guys are in the high school years. We need viewers to support our efforts. So whether you're watching on the internet or on cable, we're happy to you because you're a viewer. If you're not watching this, pay no attention. But if you are, there's Sarah Boot. Over to Kastein, 13 feet, nope. Rebound, pulled down by Bell. Bronson fires it up for Mara, can't keep it in bounds. By Dupre. He was blocked by Cerebot. <laughs> Trying to save it, he bounces it off Cerebot. It was already out of bounds. There's Timmons. Castein, no. Timmons. Timmons battling for it. Dupre controls. Air boot for the rebound. Dupree going for the steal. Johnson can't quite save it. Timmons will in. Nope. Oh, Castain will in down. Five seconds to get it in. Find Sarah Boot. Right 
throws it in. First, second half points are on the scoreboard. Whoops. <laughs> he thought he was returning a punt, I guess. Here's Bronson. Whoa! Barely nipped the rim. Just barely nipped it. Almost a swisher. So that makes the third quarter two to two. We're three and a half minutes into the second half. Ten seconds in the backcourt. Whoops. Miscommunication. Simmons, uh, no choice, he had to steal it. They bounced it right to him. What can I do? What could I do? Ten seconds in the backcourt. Now we got eight for four, so we got uh, Sorrell in for Bell. Sorrell Bell switch. Probably the first time I've ever said the Sorrell Bell switch in my 33 years of recording. That was Sorrell. Off red. 3.46 on the clock. Bronson will inbound it. And the Dupree. Morrow the rebound. Throws it up short. And it's going to be off Fred. No, nope. it was already off. It went off the fingers of Dan Bell. Touchdowns pass, ends up in the hands of Mara. After touching several players, double dribble. 2-2 Two -two here in the third period. Cast iron all inbound. And to Sarah Boat. Easy layup, miss. Look out, dominoes. And Dupree's got it. Gives it to Danville. Was his heel on the line? Don't know. They'll be arguing that for years and years, I'm sure. Carrying the ball. 313 showing here in the third period. Gooley to inbound it. Oops, white ball. So Gooley isn't going to end on it. Sorrell is going to give it to Bronson. And Bronson with the two. Makes it 4-2. Cumberland head leading here in the third quarter. They've got a, a large one-man bench. The champlain Rogers Point team has nobody in the bench, so... Common head will be much fresher going into that fourth quarter. Cast nine to inbound it. Five seconds to get it in. Sarabut has it. Gives to Timmons. That's going to be off of that. And now Cumberland Head doesn't know how to inbound. Sorrell to Bronson. 2.35 and counting on the third. Sarabut with a rebound. There's Castine. Oh, 
Turbo. Timmons. Red ball on the possession arrow. 2.05 on the clock. 4-2 from one head leading in this period. Oh, what a fake. What a fake. Timmons wide open and he ties it 4-4. Four -four. Double dribble, carry it. <laughs> oh, who, me? <laughs> it works in my in my backyard at home. <laughs> and Timmons will just barely keep it in play. Jumping in there for the rebound, Sorrell gives it to Bronson. 137 here in the third, 4-4 four, four on the scoreboard. That's going to be a foul shot as Sorrell is hit on the way to the basket. Minute and a half, clock is stopped. Shooting two. That's the first. That's them both. Nice shooting. Nice shooting for Xavier Sorrell. 6-4. Herbert stops his dribble. Five. Dupree knocks it loose. Picked up by Sorrell. Herbert wants it back. Look out. Red ball. 106. Timmons. Dupre won't let him shoot. Cerebro will shoot. Too strong. Castine throws it up. Dupre with the rebound. 37 seconds. Bronson. Oh. Bronson goes. Close to a moving pick there. <laughs> Eight four, a big lead here for Cumberland Head in the third. <clears throat> With that deep bench of theirs, are they just tiring out this Champlain team? Ten seconds in the backcourt. <clears throat> Nine seconds to go in the period. Bronson with the ball. Red ball with one second. I predict they won't score. <laughs> the ball was just in the air. Oh my gosh. What kind of timekeeping is that? <laughs> the ball had just left the, the passer's fingers. 8-4, <laughs> the Cumberland head in the third. Okay, fourth period about to begin. In the first three periods, it was 6-4, 11-6, Champlain. In the third period, 8-4, Cumberland Head. Overall, just between us here, because they're not really supposed to care about who has the most points overall. Champlain up by just three as we go to this fourth quarter. So that's how tight it is here today. 
Well, again, Cumberland Head with that big one-man bench. Champlain draws this point with nobody on the bench. Castine shot is short, rebounded by Dupre. Stolen Sarabou. He puts it up and bounces off Timmons and Dickley fighting for it. Dickley looks at his mother and grandparents saying, how am I doing? Bell into Bronson. Sarah Boot with a rebound. Carrying, carrying the ball. No basket. No basket. Carrying the ball. Ronson looks underneath Dupree all alone. Off white. 6.58 left in the game. February 20th, 2016. Third and fourth graders here. These aren't your fifth and sixth graders, no sirree. These are third and fourth graders. Sarah Boot gets it up too strong. Dupree with the rebound. It looks, <laughs> looks in the crowd and says, how am I doing? <laughs> and basket by Bronson, not, not Bronson, number eight, uh, Sorrell. And once again, Sheffield draws this point. Oh, with a week or two left in the season, <laughs> I haven't figured out how to inbound it. <clears throat> Must be their inbounders are uh, among the missing today. Sarabu trying to knee shot. Get, hands it off to Timmons. No. Timmons gets another rebound. Hands it to Sarabu. Look out. Dupree's got his hands all over there trying to steal that ball. Jump ball. Red turn. Castine inbound fakes again to Timmons. It worked last time. Oh, didn't fall this time. Dupree gets the rebound. Five fifty-three to go. Look out, Justine knocks it out of bounds. Johnson will try to inbound it. Doesn't have much room there. Long high pass picked off by Timmons, by Castine, excuse me, by Castine. <coughs> Into the fourth court. Dupree steals it. Bronson. Four nothing. Remember what I told you. Three point difference. So if you're counting at home, do the math. I'm not supposed to relay that information to you. Dupree with a steal. Bronson throws it up. Run up again by uh, Danville. Ball's loose. Ball players flying into the wall. Serboot. Bronson battling off Serboot. 4.54 to go. the call was. The ball comes in the bell. Stolen by Castine. Terrible. Triple team gets the shot up and in. 
Four to two. Yep, up, up. <laughs> He'll let him go. He'll let him go. <laughs> And who's got it? Who's got it? Red ball. 4.20 on the clock. 4.20 on the clock. Oh, the cast iron. Oh, tipped from behind by Sorrell. Floor's a little tough there on the wrist. Oh, defense in the backcourt. Technical foul. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> there's that innocent look. In the boat. Four minutes to go in the game. Oh, all alone. Casey Kane. I wasn't expecting it. Mara in. He replaces Danville. Bell will inbound. <clears throat> Bronson will bring it up. 3.53 and counting. Move and pick. Move and pick. Just trying to block, get man open downfield. That works in football. Why can't I do it in basketball? There's Cerebro looking for a target. <laughs> they got Dooley wide open here. <laughs> He's not even looking at the ball. <laughs> oh, defense in the backcourt. No defense in the backcourt. Heck of a steal, but. Totally illegal. 327 left. 4-2 here in the fourth. Johnson with the ball. Double dribble travel. All that good stuff. Red ball. Three seconds, gotta get rid of it. Is it the Timmons? Too hard. Dupree with another rebound. His 18th rebound today. Timmons strips it away. Is it the Cerebut? 2.44 left in the game. And what a game! What a game! Those passes are a little wide there, particularly considering you're on the sideline. 2.38 and uh, stopped and started up. Johnson will bring it up. Johnson throws up an air ball. Castine gets the rebound. There, but we'll bring it up. Ten seconds. Two ten left. Now this is Bronson. Mara, too strong. Ah, uh, quite a red ball. Under two to go. Cerebro. Falls off. Dupree with his 19th rebound. There's Bronson. Off Mara as he tried to rebound it. Is 
Yeah, but Briggs. Three. Johnson finds him. Dupree with the steal. On the line. Sorrell's on the line. 119 to go. And this one will be in the books. Sarabout. Ten seconds to go. In to Timmons. And Dupree with another steal. Mara too strong. And Sorrell is fouled. Stop the clock with 55. Xavier Sorrell will shoot. Uh, get the big guy underneath. Get the little guy out of there. There we go. There we go. Now we're set. First one's missed. They jumped across the line, but 5-3. Bell was so excited, he wanted the ball for his team. 5-2 here. Cumberland head. Stolen by Bronson. Dupree. Tackled. Oh, looks like he went down harder, harder than I thought. He went down harder than I thought. White ball with 30 seconds of defense. <laughs> Guys forgot which end they're at here. Into Cerebote. <laughs> what a plan. Timmons throws it up. Castine fights for the rebound. Mara battles for it. Jump ball. Oh, we got one seven, 17 seconds to go. Bronson. Short. Rebound. Terrible. No. So I can tell you now, overall it was tied. 23-23, they played 32 minutes, and it ends up being a tie overall. If it was somebody had won, I couldn't pass that along to you, but I can pass along a tie. So that's the way it was in Clinton County Youth Commission, third and fourth grade boys basketball. Champlain Rouses Point visiting Cumberland Head. Thanks for watching and supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable, win, lose, or draw TV, worthy of your support, hometown cable. Brotherly love.